Hi, Pastor Bill, Bethel Lutheran Church in Green Valley. Today is Saturday. It's July 18th. Please pray with me. Great and gracious God, thank you for inspiring us with your Holy Spirit and always being with us, no matter where we go, indeed, no matter where we may wander. Continue to keep us dependent upon you and your word in a world that too often encourages us to seek our own independence in everything. We pray this in your name. Amen. Our word today is from the Gospel of Matthew, the 7th chapter, verses 15 through 20. Jesus is speaking. Be wary of false preachers who smile a lot, dripping with practiced sincerity. Chances are they are out to rip you off some way or other. Don't be impressed with charisma. Look for character. Who preachers are is the important thing, not what they say. A genuine leader will never exploit your emotions or your pocketbook. These diseased trees, with their bad apples, are going to be chopped down and burned. Here ends our Gospel reading. Well, these are pretty tough words, especially if you're a pastor like me. Jesus is uh, warning his disciples that they will be in touch in their future as they speak the gospel, as they share it with others, they go from village to village. There will be other people who will preaching, be preaching um, possibly a similar gospel. And indeed, when Jesus worked with his disciples, there were others who were out talking about a Messiah coming. After all, Jesus' uh, prophecy is the prophecy of Jesus coming to Israel, being born in Bethlehem. It's as old as the New Testament, and it predated the disciples. It predated Jesus' uh, enfleshment, his birth in Bethlehem. People talked about it. Uh, they talked about it at the dinner tables. They talked about it in the marketplaces. They awaited the Messiah. So it's not a, a totally new idea. What was new, though, is that Jesus indeed was the Messiah. And he's telling his disciples to watch out. They're going to have some competition. We also live in a world in which there is competition. Competition for our souls. And there are preachers who, well, they don't adhere to the gospel. When I took my vows of ordination... One of the main deals is uh, in the vows of ordination that is, is that the person being ordained, the pastor, remains true to the gospel which they've been taught, that they are true in their teachings. And if you are ever hearing a pastor preach, and it sounds like he or she is just kind of going off the rails, and they're talking just about themselves, the key is to listen in that sermon that you're hearing. Who's the person pointing to? Are they doing a lot of this? Or are they pointing away? Jesus always, even as the very Son of God, he pointed away from himself. Always said, there's one greater than me. That's the Father. I'm here to bring God's message of love to you. That's what Jesus talked about. And any pastor worth his or her salt will always do that. They will always point away. And they will instead stress that the important thing is hearing the gospel. Hearing the words which are from outside of us, and yet come to us and change us within. The true gospel comes to you on a daily basis and reminds you that you are forgiven, that you have been saved. May you always know the preciousness of that word. Amen. And it's our gift always to close with the words of Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you now and always.